Hey guys, it's Connor, and today I admit to you that I suck at editing. I've been looking for new ways to improve my video knowledge and abilities, and I decided the best way to do that is to go through all of my work and find the thing that I think I'm the worst at and just focus on bringing up that weakest link. Editing has definitely been that area for me, so for the past few months that's been my area of focus and as a result my last two music videos have been so much punchier and more interesting to watch and if you're not interested when you're watching the video then you're probably not doing a great job of making them are you? I'm going to show you this tip in Adobe Premiere but keep in mind this will work in any editing software even if it doesn't have the capabilities I'm about to show you you can still use a pen and paper to take this method and make your videos 10 times better than they were. Typically, as soon as you're done shooting a music video, you come home, you dump the footage, you line it all up with the song and your timeline, and you just start editing. There's nothing inherently wrong with this, but it does lack in a couple of key areas. There's so much happening when you're on set that you're bound to miss something. I know that I've had many moments where I didn't realize I had captured something really interesting until I got home and reviewed the footage, even though I was there staring at the camera viewfinder the whole time, because at the end of the day, I'm so focused on making sure the shot turns out. I'm more focused on my motion, my composition, maintaining proper focus, that sometimes I don't notice these things. What I'm referring to are just things that I simply call moments in music videos. They're when the timing is just right and something cool happens. This can be anything from an interesting stage move that your talent does to a well-timed lens flare that worked out perfectly with the lyric that they're singing at the time. These moments are just these little things that make a music video more interesting and make it unique. I'm gonna take you through the method that I use to find and organize all of those interesting moments to make sure that none of them end up on the cutting room floor just because I didn't know that they were there. Your first step is reviewing all of your footage before you drop it into your timeline, and I'll show you why. Here I've got a really cool moment that I like where the guitarist does a couple quick headbangs. I really like that. I want to make sure it gets in the final edit. So what I'm going to do is go back to where it starts here, and I'm going to press the M key. And that's going to leave a marker in Premiere. I can add as many markers as I want to this clip. And when I drag the clip into the timeline to start editing, it keeps all those markers where they are. So even if I've got, you know, 20, 30 clips stacked on top of each other, I can see where the best, most unique moments are in every single take that I have. If I do this for all my clips, I'm no longer cutting in the dark. I'm getting the best of the best because I reviewed all my footage, I know where all of those awesome moments are, and I end up with a much more interesting video at the end of the day. But let's take this a step further. Go up to Window and click on Markers if you don't already have that tab open. You can click on that tab, and when we select our clip, it's going to show us all the markers on that clip. You can also do the same for multiple clips. It'll show you all of the markers across all of them. Here, we can organize all of these markers however we want. So I'm going to double click on this one, and let's say that I want everything involving the guitarist to be marked orange. So I can click on that, hit OK, and now it's labeled orange. So if I want to, at a glance, see some really cool moments that the guitarist had, I can just check that little box and it's only going to show me those markers. Side note, this is also really helpful for revisions if you get notes like, hey, can we get more shots of the drummer? It's really easy to go back and find all the best takes and the best moments in his performances to swap in. The best part of this is I can add comments to my markers, which means I can easily search through them. So I'm going to call this stage move headbang. So anytime I'm looking for a cool stage move, or if I'm specifically looking for one of the performers to be headbanging, I can just search in this box here for headbang, and this marker is going to come up. Once you're done adding markers, you can add everything to the timeline, line it up to the song, and as you edit, you're going to see all the best moments as you go along to make sure you're not missing anything. The time and effort you put into the process is going to be directly reflected in the final product. So don't be tempted to cut corners. Go the extra mile. Do more than everybody else is doing so that you end up with a better final product than anybody. There's no reason not to put your best foot forward with your own work. If you found this helpful and you want to help me back, just subscribe for more videos like this, like all the stuff that you're already well aware of how to do by now and if there's anything you want to see just let me know I'm happy to help but until then I'll see you in the next video